In this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of forever loops. And this is kind of a big concept to understand. So I have a block of code from a previous video where whenever I press the green flag, my Iron Man character switches to me wearing the Iron Man suit. And if the Iron Man is touching this green block here, it goes ahead and switches to a jumping Iron Man, almost as if it's action mode in front of a green screen or something. Now, this only happens if I'm simultaneously pressing the green flag. So if I'm over here, it's not working when I press the green flag. If I'm over here, it is working when I press the green flag. I want you to imagine now that I'm going to add another event where if I press the left arrow key, we want to move or change x by negative 10. So we're actually going to move in the negative direction. So now whenever I press left, my character kind of inches over to the screen. But you'll notice, and I'm actually going to add right here just so I can go back and forth. You'll notice that nothing's happening right now because I'm not simultaneously pressing the green flag. So if I go back and forth on and off this green block, a box here, because my program only says when the green flag is clicked, unless I am pressing the green flag, nothing's going to happen. And even if I move off of this green box, He's not changing because I didn't press the green flag. Now, if I throw in what's called a forever loop around this block of code, now, no matter what I'm doing, if I press the green flag to turn my program on, notice that the green flag is staying illuminated until I press the stop button. And this block of code is now kind of highlighted in yellow. Now, if I move and if I touch the green box and if I get off of the green box, my character will go back and forth automatically in the concept of forever because it's within a forever loop. And again, the only way to stop this function is actually to press the stop key.